How's it going, guys? Welcome on back to another episode. Um, we got the uh, unbagging all master bass. Uh, top water July is that time of year again, and I'm feeling it. It's super hot. Uh, you can see I'm not in the tackle shop, I'm actually outside. Um, I was trying to set up the lighting in there, and I was just sweating bullets and could not stop sweating. So I'm outside um, on the back deck drinking some sweet tea. And we're about to get into a top water bag. So, again, Monster Bass June 2021 top water bag. Definitely a good time of year when you got the top water. So, we'll get right into this thing, see what we got. As usual, comes in that nice bag. Um, this is a different material this year, this month, too. So, they must be trying out another material. This is not as stretchy as the other one, but it's not as stiff as that first one, so. Oh, it seems pretty durable, so. We might actually end up sticking with that one. I kind of like that, too. Alright, so, first up, um, from Vicious Fishing, we got the V-Pop 80. Um, I'll show you guys that there. It's just in a bone, which is a great color to throw right now, cloudy days. Um, right now, it's just been sunny and hot, hot, hot and humid. Um, so this would be for me um, if I can get out into like if I go out into like Spring Lake because um, if I actually go out into the actual lake itself, um, there's not as many as much grass for these big treble hooks to hook up on, or I can throw this in the river when the shad start spawning because you'll get like northerns and white bass and largemouth chasing those shad up to the uh, surface and just exploding on them. So a nice little popper right there would be. A good choice to throw around that time of year so that should be kind of end of august september sometime around that frame um so next we have um fat bastard um it's a little uh hollow body frog um so got the color i don't know what the color is on it pyro peat that's what it is so it's right there on the bottom so i'll pop that out for you guys interesting lip on it so it's got a different cup lip on it so it's going to spit a little bit of water and you're going to be able to walk that thing back and forth and it also has this uh, Colorado blade on the back there so that when that thing's popping around that thing's going to catch water and give off a little bit of flash so you got the, the popping from the frog and then a little bit of flash on there um, the belly on it probably throw it in a sunny day it's got the black in there so all in all pretty cool frog um, nice squishy body to it Let's check them hooks. Really sticky hooks. And it's got short legs, so that's nice. So I probably won't even have to trim the legs down at all. Um, let's see. Next, we got another frog. This is from uh, Z Man. That's a leap frog, hollow body frog. Check that out there. It's called Green Leopard. So I get another um, cup to mouth. Pull it out for you. Z Man, so of course, that's a good product. I wonder if they put the elastic in the legs though. About to find out. Yeah, a little stretchy. Not quite elastic, but they're stretchy. So, cup mouth, white belly on it. It's got that leopard back to it. It's got actually really oversized hooks, which I actually like. So, it's not going to take as much bite pressure for those to get exposed on their sticky hooks. Got a little curve up. Um, trim the legs down a little bit though, they're pretty long. Um, yeah. Or popping frog, you can walk it around and I'll spit a little bit of water out. This one, all right. So, yeah, I've actually been wanting to try one of these. It looks like a, it's a Lunker Hunt Yappa Bug, so it looks like a, kind of like a cicada. So, pull that out and that is, let's see, albino. Oh, so it's white, so it's going to be great for a day like today, or not today, a cloudy day. Um, Something I do need to throw around a little bit more this year. Um, not a huge top water guy. I know that's kind of sacrilegious, but so again, those nice sharp hooks from Lunker Hunt. Nice squishy body to it. It's got that cup mouth, so it's kind of like a jitterbug. So you're gonna put that loop knot through there, and walk back and forth, and it's gonna catch, go back and forth, and spit water. And as I was doing that, I was getting stuck by the hooks. So great hooks. 
Alright, let's see what else we got in here. So, we got Big Bite Baits, uh, Buzzing Warmouth. I think they sent this a few months back. Um, I guess you can use this like a toad, like a topwater toad. Uh, just Texas rig at weightless, throw it out there, burn it across the top of the water. Um, let's see what the color is on that. It's pearl, so it's a white color. So it's going to be a great color for the top water. Um, I suppose you could also probably weight Texas rig this and uh, try to get it down on the bottom. Maybe mimic like a dying shad or a bluegill or something. I don't know. Cool, cool. I'll have to try those out sometime. I've, I've got some before and I just never tried it. So. Alright. Uh, so we got some mustad hooks. That's gonna go great with those uh, four mounts. Now that's a three aught, a red color. And then we got the, uh, the monster bass patriot 3.0. So that is uh, baby Ragnar. Um, so that's a walking bait. So you're gonna throw that out there and walk it back and forth. That's gonna just kind of just skirt back and forth on top of the water. Got good rattles in it. Got that red hook. So yeah, I like that too. Definitely gonna have to try to throw that out um, again, like uh, come the shad spawn in the late summer, and uh, all the shad are spawning, and the white bass pike and whatnot. They're blowing up on them, so that's gonna be a great bait to use in that time frame. All right, and looks like the last one we have here uh, is. A Thunderhawk Buzz Toad. See that there? It's a watermelon chart pepper frog, olive head. So that's kind of like a. It's a Buzz Toad, obviously, and then has a. So it's like one of those uh, soft top soft water soft plastic top water toads that you can just burn across the top of the water with those kickers in the back, and also it has an attachment there for a buzz blade, so you can actually run it like a buzz blade. Or buzz bait, sorry. So that's kind of nifty. Um, I'm not going to pull that out just because there's a lot of components to it. Looks like there's a, an EWG hook that you rig the frog up with. And it attaches. Looks like at that point you must have to slide that little uh, lock over top that uh, bend there to keep the hook in place. Interesting. I definitely have to try that sometime. Alright, so that's it for the baits. I forgot to get into it. What else is here? Um, we got the little reading material. All that good stuff. It's going to have some stuff in there like tell you the price of your of all the baits and some little tips and tricks. A um, little monster bass sticker. Nice, nice. And let's see what else is in here. So there's a gift card, a $10 gift card for. Looks like monster bass. Pretty cool. I wish I had that when I put it in an order. <laughs> and golden ticket. If you guys want that, you can take it. I'm, I don't use them. If you guys um, want to use that code for whatever, try to win some free gear from them, go for it. All right, so that's it for the Monster Bass bag. Um, good stuff, good stuff. So it's always nice to have some more top water. I need to get start throwing more. Um, it's really getting hot, so. And it's been not as windy, so I mean, the last few weeks have just been wicked windy. I've been trying to throw a little bit of top water, but it's just been so windy I couldn't really get away with it. So, um, yeah, so go ahead and uh, hit that like button, uh, leave a comment down below. Um, let me know if you guys have been having any good luck on top water yet, or if you're still trying to get into that transition there where you can get some top water bites going. Um, yeah, hit the like button, ring the notification bell, share this with some friends, some fishing buddies if you guys want, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.